soil pollution soil pollution may occur indirectly or directly soil pollution may change physical chemical and biological nature of soil and make it unfit for plant growth animal and human use soil pollution in agricultural areas affects crop productivity and may even make the land unfit for agriculture soil is formed by erosion of rocks by wind and water this process is very slow and takes several years another way of soil formation is the cooling of lava coming out during volcanic eruptions large amounts of soil are formed by this method in a short time in contrast to soil formation soil pollution and degradation occur more rapidly taking all these into consideration soil may be considered as a non renewable natural resource preventing soil pollution and promotion of soil conservation is an important task this is more particularly followed so in our country where land availability is very low due to large population increase in soil content of soil which is called salination of soil deposition of new substances in the soil and erosion of top soil are the major types of soil pollution due to salination soil becomes unsuitable for plant growth ground water in saline soil will have more salt than normal soils and make this water unsuitable for human use for animal and for plant growth salination of soil is becoming a major problem due to intensive agricultural operations to increase food production to provide favorable conditions for growth agricultural lands are heavily irrigated if the drainage system is poor water evaporates and salts are deposited in the soil applications of mineral fertilizers such as npk to the crops also increase the salt content of land in addition salts present in ground water are also deposited in the soil when ground water evaporates industrial effluents also deposit salts in the soil either directly or by way of reaching from storage and treatment tanks depending on the type and amount of salt deposited in the soil by these various agents acidity alkalinity of the soil also changes plants and animals cannot survive in the soil if the soil is too acidic or alkaline acid rain also has the same effect on soil Soil is also polluted by the deposition of unwanted inorganic and organic substances. Several industries dispose of their waste products on on nearby land sites. These waste products include concrete, asphalt, rubber, tin, iron, chromium, aluminum and other metals. In addition, several organic wastes such as paper, plastics, pesticides discarded food and dead bodies of animals are also dumped by both industries and from domestic use land pollution by plastic materials has increased to an alarming proportion in recent years due to increased use of plastics for packing domestic products soil is also polluted by excreta of man and domestic animals In recent years pollution due to hospital wastes such as used and discarded bandages soaked with blood and pus needles syringes used blood and saline bottles is becoming another major health problem soil pollution can be minimized by collecting the wastes properly several materials discarded from homes and industries such as metals paper Certain types of plastics, glass can be reused. Paper products are converted to pulp and can be used again to make paper. This not only reduces pollution but also saves trees. Biological wastes such as discarded food, vegetables and fruits 
can be used for the production of manure. Waste is containing pathogenic organisms and those which cannot be easily recycled are burnt in a careful manner in places far away from residential areas. In recent years, efforts are being made to produce solid fuels from these non-reusable waste materials and use these fuels for the production of electric current. Developing hygienic habits minimizes the pollution due to excretory material. In addition to this, pollution due to loud noise is also becoming a major problem in industrial areas, on busy streets, railway stations and in places near aerodromes. As responsible citizens, it is our duty to prevent the pollution of Mother Earth.